Okay, so basically the back end of the vehicle, tow bar, importantly, all the electrics all work. It's got a table on the back tailgate, just normal fittings that you can get off eBay, but basically does really well. Hooks inside, proper curtain frames for T4 on the back window, uh, padded, padded cushion, that fills up the back, got a cargo, cargo net for camping. This is useful, it basically helps this lock out, lock out post that goes up there when you've got a, uh, if you have a camping rack or, or bike rack on the back, that's what I've used it for. It's back of the vehicle. You can hear that, this is sound deadening. It's fully uh, dynamated or equivalent inside. Um, all uh, cellar text, carpeted, all throughout, by myself, silver foiled, etc. Um, standard cargo rubber mat was the standard feature with all the tie downs. Originally, that unit I had uh, designed and made, and it went this position here. And then next to it, I had a, uh, basically a cool box fridge, like a Waco proper camper one. That obviously I'm keeping that um, because I've now fitted it out and I normally just have the uh, the fridge in that area when I go camping. It just gives a better layout. Um, you got your, you probably seen the pictures already, two burner with a sink, water, electric tap. Basically the electrics are, because you can unbolt that unit, electrics on a 12 volt socket that basically I've got a number of 12 volt charging sockets so you can put the cool box in, you can put that in. All of these run off of a 12 volt uh, measure battery there. See, 12 volt, another outlet there for that side. This seat is a uh, proper camping solid, one of the uh, heavy duty ones. So that's the, uh, the front passenger, captain's chair, all locks in, proper safety level. All of these seats are out of a multi-van generation series which if you know your t4s these were the last series that did all the multi-vans um it would have had it would have been out of a left-hand drive originally so that means that the passenger passenger and the driver's seat is normally the driver's seat so the actual driver's seat was a lot better condition generally but even when you look at that no wear and major wear on the bolsters um i fitted heated heated seat elements into them which are quite easy you just basically a stick on pad you've probably seen them as well so you can left and right heated heated seats um, it's got interior the interior well basically that seat there if you know them basically you pull that lever in the middle unclip these seats these seats these seats are all fitted in the normal uh, caravel stroke multi-van hard point so when it's when it's locked in it's locked in then you've got all of the seat rear seat belts are they proper anchor points it's a proper five five seat belted vehicle but it's got all of that there you've got another 12 volt socket charger you've got your um, your gas gas uh, sensor control for your carbon monoxide extinguisher more 12 volt sockets kids um, this is the herbis batcher so basically it's a warm air heating you can probably aromatic to so it's a two kilowatt unit and this is a programmable one so you can either switch it on fast or you can program it you can have a, a morning and a night time seven day timer all of that is uh, straightforward and easy to set up again both this this door uh, sorry that that side and, and the side low door i've got all the curtains all fitted so these are proper blackout curtains straightforward designer made to fit fit on the uh, t4s all of the uh, all of the trim inside obviously the last sections were carpeted that's vinyl backed um, the roof panels were gray um, you know normal hard hardboard but these are all all been vinyl coated the lights you know things like that I've just upgraded them instead of the old original ones these are out of a golf which fit in the same area makes it look a bit more modern um, like I say in the front you've got difficult to plug it in but basically you've got uh, an alpine apple play unit which normally when people do it they normally rip out these two vents and 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 that means you've lost half of the uh, the, the air air system for the vents um, 
and basically it's this is where it would have been in the uh, left hand drive versions and uh, but it takes a little bit more doing with them have to work behind for the strengthener for the dash so all that that's been um, adjusted to suit on here importantly this version has got standard air conditioning which is uh, you know pretty rare on T4s when you look at how many for sale and that is ice cold since the day I've had it I've never had to recharge it or anything um, it's got cruise control it works it's like off the electronic throttle pedal it's a standard standard equipment VW uh, stalk etc plugs into the back of the fuse box you switch it on on the uh, on the convenience module and then you uh, off you go and it's that's all worked perfectly fine um, the only thing realistically luxury it hasn't got is electric windows it's got the upgraded standard these are all standard trim it came with carpets in the front as standard um, it came with these door cards as standard with I think these are their seven inch or six and a half inch mids. Like I say, these are these are now just infinity. I've got infinity uh, ones on the on there. It's nothing, nothing too flash, but it's just a nice little sound. On the unit in the back, you've got general storage there. Just uh, things like that, and then you've got underneath you've got your water and your gas bottle, kettle, uh, wastewater. All of that's in there these are what the VW standards were so you've got storage if you want under there yeah it's got a speaker under there but that can easily come out and there's no worries you can uh, do what you like with that um, it's got wind deflectors when I got it I've, I've fitted a, a rail which is like an awning rail so you can have a drive away awning on it quite easily and this is this was glued on it's not been drilled on and it's solid as uh, with sticker flex so that's all good um, a little bit mud on the tools and tyres but, but basically BBS standard alloys with the right correct weighted tyres I think 102 load index tyres um, what's around the front standard 102 engine with the intercooler um, as you probably know about it's, it's had the I'd say upgraded I've upgraded the turbo and downpipe and upgraded where is it now probably can't see underneath too well there's the there's the uh how good the downpipe oh that's all stainless the downpipe and the um cat bypass pipe you can obviously link it from about there onwards you could put that into a standard system if you wanted to do a full system but there was nothing wrong with the rest of the system um, torsion bar front suspension been lowered the rear suspension I think I've showed you the picture it's got eye back rear springs slightly lower than standard uh, and it's got Bilstein B6 dampers all around which I don't know if they still do that kit but that really uh, tightens things up like I say I've got a rear um, rear anti-roll bar as well it's not on it at the moment but that's included and then um, starting it up starts on the button 